Good morning, good afternoon, good evening across the country, around the world. Welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, we're up in orbit with the, what did I call this? The HA slash S44. Uh, we've successfully deployed the payload, launched the satellite, and that guy is now up in this orbit. That was on the last episode. And now we're going to endeavor to bring this guy back home. So been watching YouTube, you know, catching up on peoples and things and what they do. And, ooh, right about there. Um, something I saw, I, I was always... Here, let me just... Can I move this? I can't. Um, we're going to pause that for a second just so I can talk about things. Go away, go away. But I don't want to lose this, this little window right now. I was always setting the periapsis in the atmosphere somewhere above here. Something I saw another guy do is he actually burned oh, about where we are now uh, and set the orbit to intersect with about this little island over here, this little peninsula over here that kind of kind of looks like Korea to me? I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, but he set to intercept here. And that brought him down a little steeply, but not bad, right to the Kerbal Space Center. So, um, that's what I'm going to try. So, let's set a maneuver really quick. We got a minute until we hit. Ooh, the maneuver. Come on. There you go. Yeek. So let's burn that down. And that's only 154. But that drops us, yeah, right in the middle of that uh, that landmass. That's not very high, though. Well, we'll try it and see what happens. It's all trial and error and adventure. Oop, no, wrong thing. Execute. Go! We don't have that much reserve delta V, so um, yeah, but quick saving and we'll see if this works. I think it might have burnt a little late. Eh. We shall certainly find out. Good, okay, so that's there. Uh, delta V, we still have a little bit of delta V at least as far as that goes, we can get rid of that though. Uh, I will take surface info. Whoa, that does some crazy stuff there, doesn't it? Alright. We aren't very high up, so T prograde, please. Oh, and I could have done a lot of that with RCS too. I for totally forgot about RCS, because we still have lots of RCS. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I reconfigured this. Roll. Yeah, I assigned the role for flight, at least I think for flight, to A and D. A and D. Alright, let's get that off prograde though. We're gonna aim this away. Oh, we're already like way above the desert. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens with this. Let's time warp up to get into the atmosphere. And there we are. And the aircraft's already at a good 25, 30 degree out or er, er, attitude, not altitude, attitude. We're gonna put it square on 30, or at least try to. There we go. Now we can physics warp up a bit. At least until we get heating effects. And of course, as we, you know, the nose keeps pointing in the same orientation but the planet is orbiting around underneath us, and no, this is not a valid uh, re-entry pattern. I burned too late. Okay, so we're going to try this again, because this, I'm sorry, I know, quick saving, horrible thing to do, but this is going to be, this, this whole thing is a, a trial and error um, to get down and land at the Kerbal Space Center. All right, so let's warp up and past and around again. I think... What's our orbital? Oh, I don't have that. I think when we come around again, um, the Space Center will still be within daylight, so we should be okay. Let's focus on the planet, just to avoid awkwardness. I think you might have done it when it was, like, here relative to it, so... Um... All right, so we stopped all of that stuff. We're going to do it a little further back this time. About there? Sure. 
There we go. That's a bit shallower. Yeah, that's nice and shallow. Well, it might be too shallow. I don't know. It's it's all an experiment. Yeah, we're going to try this and see what happens. That requires even less. That's great, too. Sorry, I'm just, just trying to figure out how this works. Because it's been frustrating that I haven't gotten it to work quite correctly. All right, warp them down to the spot. Oh yeah, because of my fuel requirements, I think I talked about it before. Uh, I should have had more liquid fuel oxidizer combos on here, but oh, they're all four on. Okay, I thought I disabled some. Guess not. All right, well that works. Good. Okay, so. Yeah, our orbit's coming down that away, so that's good. Um, and of course, we kind of plan it a little bit, at least the way I heard on YouTube from somebody else's. You plan it into the the peninsula here, but the planet is going to rotate a bit underneath you, so this mark will catch up to that over there. We shall see. I think this one just, just might be it. Who knows? Oh, that's appropriate. Okay. Flip you over on your belly. Boom. Accept. Cancel. All right. Whatever. All right. So we'll see what happens with this attempt we are coming in a bit shallower this time yeah we're hitting the atmosphere a bit earlier but usually whenever I plan these we're we've burnt earlier and we're already like well into the atmosphere over the desert here so this well I have hopes for this one got high hopes high hopes oops I'm still training myself to use the, the right buttons again. Alright, so we'll stick it up at a 20 degree. Ooh, come on. Oh, you're fighting prograde, that's why. 20 degree. Hold it there. 20 to 25. Good, okay. Wobble, wobble, wobble. No, go away. Alright, so we're at 60. What's the arc doing? Oh, good. So it's slowly creeping back this way that's excellent as it slows us down we lose some of our orbital velocity and we lose altitude okay so now we got heating effects okay so good that's there so that's good but we're coming in pretty flat to it so we're gonna flatten out we're gonna straighten out just a bit Ooh, not too much not too much we want the heat to still be dissipated across somewhat evenly across the whole bottom of the ship. We don't want this nose to absorb all of it. Oh dear, we're running out of... Oh no, we've got lots of charge in, in, in the, the battery. How's that look? Oh good, so now it's staying kind of steady-ish. Ending near the Kerbal Space Center. And this is by no means an exact science. Uh, it's it's lots of trial and error, as you can see. Oh, I wonder... Air brakes! Duh! Forgot all about those guys. Oh, that's one thing I could have attached. Drogue shoots. Eh. We'll make it work. We'll see what happens. Oh, but we are... Um, in the atmosphere, so... In case we need to, we can throttle up in air breathing mode. In case we need to stretch our landing uh, uh, to the runway a bit, we can pop over those mountains there. Alright. So, if I think I got this, I think I might have got this right. It feels like it's about a third of the rotation around. 
Yeah, about a third of the rotation around, away from the space center. A little more than a third. Almost half... Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is almost halfway from there. Meh. Alright, what are you doing? Where are you going? Okay, you're shortening, so let's... Bring the nose down a bit. Oh, I like this aircraft. Usually, like the last one I flew, when I bring the nose down, it just wants to... <laughs> the nose just wants to drop straight forward. But this guy is doing pretty good at uh, keeping kind of... Uh, what? I don't know. There's an aviation term for it where the, the attitude stays kind of neutral. I just can't remember what it is. Alright, let's see what's going on. Okay, so the arc is... Yeah. Let's pop the nose up just a bit more. See if we can push our... Push the arc out a bit further. I mean, partly it does slow us down, but also it'll help elongate that arc, at least a little bit. But now we're getting down to a point where that speed is really going to... We don't really have that much speed, so we're going to kill the air brakes. Not that they're slowing us down tremendously, but they are slowing us down a bit. Did they get hot? Well, they're getting a little hot. And the nose is a little warm, but it's not horrible. I, of course, have the uh, heat indicators off because they're just kind of annoying. And they have that memory leak problem, even though people say, No, it's fixed. It's better now. I don't trust it. Alright, so we're up at 28,000 kilometers, or 28 kilometers, 28,000 meters. We're coming into the space center. And I think part of my mistake, and I, I, I guess I watched a few other YouTube videos, I think part of my mistake for, for my approach into here was that, um, well, I used to fly helicopters. I went to helicopter flight school, but I didn't do that. It wasn't a career for me. It wasn't cool. It wasn't all those things. Um, those are really shallow final approaches, whereas this, with a space plane like this, a shuttle, they're really steep, and then you you flare the crap out of it at the end. So I think, yeah, I think we're okay. We're a little high. We can probably stand to just go more or less prograde. Oh, this might be too steep. Well, I mean, it shows that arc is ending roughly at the space center and it's not really moving too much hmm but I don't want to dive down too quickly can I quick save here quick saving okay I tried to quick save before with that other shuttle I, la I landed here more or less that quick save disappeared or that titled quick save it, it poof it was gone I don't know what happened to it I, I was really upset that it just disappeared okay let's let's dive down to the to the surface a little bit more Kicking the air brakes again. What's this arc say? Yeah. Okay, no, let's kill that. I don't want to lose all my speed. But we are coming down. We're about 10,000 meters up. Diving down. Woo. Yeah, this might actually be the, uh, quote, correct approach. I don't know. Well, let's keep the air brakes going, though. I need to slow it down. Slow it down, buddy. What does this say? Too small to be worth anything. Okay. Alright, so now, in theory, we should be able to glide in pretty well onto the runway. We're pretty well lined up. At least it looks like that from up here. Oh, are we? Yeah. Aviation control. A little finer control. Not quite as, as abrupt. Still, we have a little pop shake. Pop shake. Pop shake. Whoa. Alright, so we are actually increasing our speed just a smidgen. Or now it's decreasing. But we were staying uh, up at like 203, 204 for a bit there. Oh, I might be coming in just a little shallow.
We're slow enough. I'm going to lower the gear. We might just do it this time. Although it looks like I'm a little bit to the right, or to one side of the runway. Whoa, don't keep in trim, buddy. Come on, we can make it. We can make it to the threshold. Come on. Come on, baby. Oof. Oh. Sorry, not talking, focusing, landing, not crashing. Not stalling. Oh! Oh, oh, no, 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 Eek! Okay, that's cool. That's cool. We can do that. We can do that. That's okay. Yes! This pump's in the air. Holy crap. <laughs> I have finally successfully landed on the runway from orbit i i wow um wow thoroughly uh <laughs> thoroughly impressed with myself way to go jeb and bill that is amazing and that's that's that i <laughs> that's that's a cool feeling rush of adrenaline all that stuff that's that's really awesome and we still have Fuel? We could have flown around. I could have pushed forward. I could have done a lot of stuff. I didn't I didn't need to. Oh, that's amazing. That's an amazing feeling right there. Oh, that's that's I really do enjoy these these aviation style uh, uh, missions, you know? Space planes and flying around. They're lots of fun. Oh. Oh. Alright. Something weird there. Um Oh, that's great. A reusable space plane. That's pretty freaking sweet. Yeah, 100% value. Awesome. Alright, well, that burned a couple days. Um, like I said, in the next episode or two, um, we'll start working on... Uh, moon? Minmus? No. We'll start working on some Duna lander stuff with the 10 meter um, inflatable heat shield yes and some landers and rovers and landing those and docking those together and things like that anywho thanks for watching thanks for hanging out if you like hit like hit subscribe tell your friends tell your neighbors i'll catch you later